All right, Pearl, the girl. And I wanted to show you guys before we get started. This is like, I guess, what we call the cold open here on Mark and the Minivan. This is, this is our new little munchkin, Otis. Odie! Pearl is very jealous of Otis. So, welcome to Mark in the Minivan, a beautiful day here in New Jersey. A little, almost too warm for November, but I'll take it. And we're about to climb into the minivan right over there and get started with today's episode. We're talking COVID-19, concerts, and Foo Fighters. Yo, 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 Mark in the minivan. How are you guys? Um, just hanging here in my driveway, not really driving anywhere today. Uh, news, Foo Fighters have a new song out, Shame, Shame, and COVID-19... Um, I'm going to talk about how that's going to affect concerts in 2021 because there is some new and encouraging news uh, as of the last 48 hours here. Today's date is November 9th, 2020. So the new Foo Fighters song is great, man. Shame, shame. And I listened to it a few times yesterday and then again I listened to it four times in a row when I was walking today. So it's, it's still sinking in. Um, it isn't that like pure aggression. Like, I mean, the song run off the last Foo Fighters record. That's one of my all time favorite Foo Fighters songs. And that says a lot because I've been a fan of this band since I first saw them play one of their first shows in New York City at the Virgin Megastore like 20 some years ago. I've seen them at the Garden. I uh, love this band. Love Foo Fighters. They're so good. And I got to tell you that um, the new song, again, it doesn't have that like it's not like in your face loud rock but the production is great there's lots of subtle things i love the sound of the acoustic guitar at the beginning there's like this little like accent from like a string i don't know if it's a, a actual violin or viola or, or if it's just a, a a sample or whatever but beautiful production the producer's name i forget his name but i think they worked with the guy on the last record and definitely leans kind of poppy I would say that the hook, it's not like this huge hook that sucks you in, but it's its so powerful the way that they it hits you, the shame, shame. And just with everything going on in the world, I mean, you, who knows what the lyrics are about, but I, I almost uh, take it personally and I, and I take those lyrics and I reflect back at the at the at the world through me, even though they're not my lyrics, if that makes any sense. But I felt lyrically it really fits with where we're at in time, even with the election that just happened and and the the whole COVID nineteen pandemic. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's totally about something different, but certain lyrics I interpreted that way and it connected with me deeply, uh emotionally. Great stuff by the Foo Fighters. Cannot wait to hear what new music they have coming down the road in addition to this song. Because there is a whole new record coming out. So, excellent job to Dave Grohl and the guys. Um, COVID-19. Here, here's the deal. I did want to share that I believe we got some great, great news. Because, you know, we want the kids back in school. We want to be able to go have, uh, you know, family barbecues and stuff. Um all that, but we also, what we talk about here on Talking uh, Metal and Mark in the Minivan is we want our concerts back. And I think there was some great news. The Star Ledger in New Jersey had an article um, yesterday in Sunday's edition that although cases are going up right now, and it's not it's not a good thing, it sucks. They're, they're really, we're going into a bad place with the case numbers. However, the good news is that we now have the ability to treat people who have this virus way better than we did in the spring. So far less people are dying percentage-wise to the cases. It sucks that the cases are going up, and it sucks that people are still dying. But the little bit of good news is that we now know doctors and the healthcare professionals now know how to treat this a little bit better. So that's great news. That's great news. And that means that I hate to say it because I'm not a doctor, but for some of us, it's not as dangerous anymore. And that's a huge statement, which you can, I'm sure some people will give me shit over. But that's what how I believe because of, of the medication and the care procedures we now have. And the other bit of 
great news is Pfizer has announced that their vaccine trial that they're running, which seems to be one of the furthest along, is 90% effective. And that is amazing news. It's caused the stock market to freak out today. Everyone is thrilled with that. And that, that, is, that is great. I mean, because you want like I mean, these flu shots every year, they're like sometimes like 50, 60% effective, 90% effective. So once Pfizer turns the, the data over and their studies over to the government, you're looking at maybe two months for the FDA to approve that. I don't know how close Pfizer are, but it does appear that they're getting close to the finish line with this. And then we're looking at another two months, then distribution and figuring out who gets it first. So it's still a ways away. But conceivably, guys, we could have this kind of really tamped down by the summer. And I think that is amazing news for every, for every portion of our society, especially our concerts. I, I'm, all, I'm all in, man. Concert season returning this summer. In the meantime, we need to keep wearing our masks. I have Talking Metal face masks available for purchase, $18.00. Hit me up through PayPal. Talking Metal, of course, is my podcast. I would love it if you subscribe to that. We're nearing 900 episodes. And they're Talking Metal face masks, high quality, 18 bucks anywhere in the United States. My PayPal account is paypal.me slash Mark Striegel, M-A-R-K-S-T-R-I-G-L. Hit me up there, guys, and uh, talk to you soon.